Well, Simon Clay and I were talking uh, earlier, before I just had a tour, about the need to explain to Australia these stories. You know, the fact that you can have people stand up and say, we don't understand what innovation means, and not understand how important it is to our future, is a challenge that Sarah and I must overcome. But we need your help, and we're getting your help. It is such a thrill today to see Jackie, the passion, where are you Jackie? My mad scientist, there she is. Jackie's just taking me through the wet spinning line, along with Sean. And what you've done here is brilliant. Not just so uh, taking something on a mass scale and taking it down to a test facility, but to along the way partner with the company that has made this overseas, uh, to pattern the intellectual property on the mechanical side of the fence, that gives you the flexibility to adapt that for different environments and test things before they go to scale. Uh, but Jackie, the research, so you've got the, the mechanic side of the fence in that line, and at the front end, you've got the, the chemistry in the polymer itself. And, you know, let's, my very back of the envelope, the bigger the polymer, the stronger the fibre, the lighter you can make the carbon fibre moving forward, and the less fuel it will take to power whatever it is that that fibre builds be it uh, an electric car, be it a motor car, fuel car, or be it a, an airplane, a spaceship, whatever it may be. And uh, let's face it, weight is key. Uh, you know, I was saying to Jackie, you talk to NASA, they're, they're forever trying to work out how to decrease the size of their payload because of the cost involved of sending it up. Um, the fibre conference. So already, Jackie has just explained to me that she has had interaction with Russia and we're doing things better at this test facility than they are and they're catching up in three weeks' time. So not only, I mean, we're launching this today and we already have world, you know, world trade opportunities starting to present themselves. And that's what advanced manufacturing is all about. Let's face it, if we are, and I know I'm preaching the converted, if we are to compete in manufacturing, the more we can use the six inches between our earlobes, the better we will be moving forward. Um, to everyone involved, CSIRO, has a strong and proud track record of commercialising science. Uh, sadly, historically, we have let a lot of it go. However, under Keith and his team, there is a new paradigm, and the National Innovation and Science Agenda empowers CSIRO and Larry Marshall and all the team, from Larry down through Adrian Turner and Data61. Everything we are doing through the National Innovation and Science Agenda is aimed at what you're seeing today. To everybody that's been involved from start to finish, I say a most heartfelt congratulations. I look forward to monitoring and keeping in touch with what you do and with the people behind the science and the engineering coming together in this facility, along with the private enterprise that is starting and the hub that is starting to be built. You know, I was at Quick Step half an hour ago. They came here 15 months ago with one employee. They have moved their research and development arm from Germany back to Australia, and now 25 people are working in that. Jens is laughing at me because he's German, heading up advanced manufacturing reports. <laughs> you know, they're the stories we need to tell Australia. Germany is seen as the doyen of advanced manufacturing, and three minutes from here, you've got an R&D facility that was in Germany 15 months ago, and is here today. Simon, I look forward to seeing Carbon Nexus, uh, in my carbon pit stop, my carbon hop pit stop today. But to everyone, I really am excited, and I hope you can hear it in my voice, about what you've achieved to date, but more importantly about what comes in the future. I will, and, and Keith gets this, I, I do need your help moving forward. And, and Simon and I, again, Sarah and I were having this chat before. This is not a grant. I hate the term grant. This is a $1.6 million investment. An investment in capability and science that will power our SME sector and create profitability and job opportunities at the back end. And the more we can approach that, the better we'll be. Congratulations and well done.